This week on the Business Owners Corner, I want to comment on President Biden's $10,000 of student loan debt forgiveness program that was announced a couple weeks ago. And I'm not really here to comment on whether it's a good program or a bad program, whether it's inflationary or not, at least not in today's episode. But I do want to share two planning strategies that come to mind that you should absolutely be aware of. Number one, there are a lot of people out there who are concerned about the fairness of this executive order. Hey, what about all those borrowers out there who were responsible and paid their loans off over the last couple of years? They just paid their loans off. Their balance is now zero. And then the government turns around and offers forgiveness to the less responsible people who hadn't paid their loans off. Well, there's a provision that prevents that to a degree you should definitely be aware of. The CARES Act, which was passed in the beginning of 2020, I believe in March, included a provision when the first administrative forbearance began. Remember, think back to COVID stimulus when the federal government first dropped interest rates to zero on federal student loans and allowed for forbearance where you don't have to pay them back indefinitely. If you made payments during that period of administrative forbearance, you can contact your servicer and ask for those payments back. So if you have $5,000 of student loans that you paid off over the last couple of years during this forbearance period, you can call your servicer and ask for that $5,000 back and they add it right to your balance. So if you're someone who's been a responsible borrower, you've just paid off your loans, but you qualify for this new $10,000 of forgiveness, you should absolutely do that. <clears throat> the criteria is income of less than $125,000 for single people or married people filing separate tax returns. If you're married filing jointly or filing as head of household, the threshold's $250,000. So if you've just paid off federal student loans in the last couple of years and your income is below those thresholds, you should think hard about contacting your servicers, getting that money back, receiving the forgiveness, and then using the cash that's left over to pay off whatever the balance is and you pocket the difference, it could be a $10,000 payday for you. The next thing you need to be aware of is if you're a business owner who might be on the threshold of qualifying, and again, $250,000 for married people or head of household, $125,000 for single people and married filing separately. If you're right about at that cusp and your 2020 income doesn't qualify you, and again, the uh, criteria here is those income thresholds for 2020 or 2021 tax returns. If you qualify under either of those years, you get the forgiveness. If you don't under either of those years, you don't. There's no phase out. It's a cliff, all or nothing kind of deal. So if you don't qualify for 2020, you're a business owner and you have extended your tax return in 2021 and haven't filed it yet, if you're on the threshold, what you should do is think hard about making a larger, a large or a larger contribution to a qualified retirement plan. Because every dollar that you put into a SEP IRA or a solo 401k, perhaps if you have either of those available to you, reduces your adjusted gross income and could potentially make you qualified for this $10,000 of forgiveness. And because the forgiveness itself is a cliff, meaning if you're a single and your, your income is $125,001, you do not qualify for any forgiveness at all. But if your income is $124,999, you qualify for all of it. So if you haven't filed yet, if you're already on extension, think hard about putting some dollars into a SEP IRA in order to get your income below that threshold and potentially qualify for forgiveness. Per usual, as I mentioned earlier, this is only with loans, student loans in the federal system. It doesn't qualify for any, any private loans at all. Those don't qualify. Uh, and make sure that you're clear on the specifics. We've got a longer, more detailed podcast episode coming out this coming Wednesday that will share all of those details and uh, probably with, with more nuance than you care to listen to. That's it for this week. Hope it was helpful. Talk to you again soon.